What's going on, beautiful people? Victoria, your credit solutionist here, and you are at the Solutionist Experience. We're gonna be talking about a business credit card that anybody can get approved for, whether you just started out or you've been in business for a while. Now, you guys might not know, but there's about 5 million businesses that started in this country last year alone. And not all of those business owners have good personal credit. So this is gonna be a really great tool that you can use to get yourself started. It is the Business Advantage Unlimited Cash Rewards Secure Credit Card through Bank of America. This card is going to be the MVP and I don't hear very many people talking about this and between you and me Bank of America doesn't even actually advertise this I had to dig for it to find it and ask my business banker about it because I just got a business bank account with Bank of America under my media company. That's right, baby, you gotta learn how to diversify this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and give you some of the details, but before I do that, I need you to go ahead and support our channel via the Cash App because I like French roast coffee, heavy cream. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this. Let me switch my screen really quick and we're gonna show you uh, what this card is actually about. We're not gonna hold you long because this is a very simple credit card. Now, the first thing you have to do is obviously you need to get a bank account with the bank. The number one thing that annoys me so much about these content creators out here is that they give you all this credit card knowledge, but they don't tell you that you have to open up a bank account with the actual bank you're trying to do business with. They can monitor what you do and see your activity, which will pretty much encourage them to give you a higher credit line or unsecure your business credit card faster. Stop trying to hide in the bushes. You look suspicious. You started your business so you could be out there and show people your finances, all right? I hope I made that clear. Now, <laughs> you do have to have a business bank account with Bank of America, like I said, and I just got my card in the mail along with my business checks. So, you know, kudos to them. So with this card, once you open up your bank account, you can apply for this card right on the spot, okay? Now, you can earn unlimited cash rewards while establishing your business credit. This is a twofer, and the reason that this is so important, you guys, is because you are now earning cash from your cash. You're putting cash onto the card and that is your credit limit. By them giving you cash rewards back, you're getting money back. It's essentially like having money in a savings account or a CD and it's giving you profit back through the uh, interest that you would earn on that account. So look at it that way. I use secured credit as a alternative to saving money in an actual bank account. Do not sleep on secure credit cards. You're gonna be able to build your credit history with consistent on-time payments. You can improve your business credit score over time. There's a big reason that uh, Bank of America is pushing for this, and that is because they actually want to extend business credit to you. So they want you to get into the door with a lower barrier of entry. There is a minimum $1,000 security deposit. That's $200 for the next five weeks, you guys. If your business can't generate that $200, then extend it out to 10 weeks. You need to make $100 in 10 weeks, okay? And then come back to Bank of America and apply for this card. It's going to give you a boost into the prime credit card card uh, arena. Going for credit cards that have lower uh, barriers of entry, like a $200 deposit or a $500 deposit, well, that's considered subprime. Putting that $1,000 in and then even more if you can is going to make you look a lot better in the long run. Me again, I figured now is as good a time as any to ask for your support. I want to get the Credit Solutionist YouTube channel to 10,000 subscribers this year. Since 2019, I've been letting y'all come in, put your feet on my furniture, and I've been making you drinks. The least you could do is help somebody by telling them about this channel and getting the word out. So share this content, like it, and definitely subscribe if this is your first time here. And also, I'll even give you a shout out if you can tell me what movie this is from. Old millennials only, baby. I'll let you guys get back to the video. Let's go. So minimum 1,000. Now, if you go for like the first bank one, which is FNBO, I believe, that secure credit card requires you to put down 110% a deposit of whatever your credit limit is going to be. So I think this thousand dollars that Bank of America is asking for is hardly anything. They'll periodically review your account and if your credit history is good, they're gonna go ahead and unsecure that card. Now, once that card is unsecured, guess what happens? You get your money back. So do you understand why I'm saying that a secure credit card not only builds your credit, but also gives you savings, like it helps you save money in your business because you're gonna end up getting that money back plus whatever rewards you have. 
So I'm sorry, y'all. I don't see why business credit not being secured and why people uh, don't believe in secure credit. I just don't. It doesn't make sense to me. Flexible redemption options. This means that you can take your cash rewards as a deposit into your checking or savings account, or you can take it as a statement credit. So I love that. Doesn't have an annual fee. You also will have a variable that's a little bit high as far as your APR. It's going to be 26.49%. Here's the deal. We are in a credit crunch right now. So you got to get into the door any way that you can. And there's nothing wrong with a 26.49% credit card. I would rather have that than not have any credit at all. If they raise the the, the rate based on the market, it's only going to be like 0.75, maybe 1%, something like that. But where the big hike in the APR comes from is if you do not pay your bills. So if you're late, they can honestly hike that APR all the way up to the max, which I think for this card is like 29.99. So the really big interest hikes come from your activity and you being responsible, okay? According to the teller, when I talked to her, when I opened up my business bank account, she said that Bank of America is going to be using, I believe she said Dun & Bradstreet. So they're gonna run your DMB or they report it to DMB. So I know that a lot of people on the internet do say nobody uses DMB, but Bank of America actually does. And they report your credit history on this bank account to Dun & Bradstreet, okay? That's straight from the horse's mouth. And it also says that on the website here. I think she also told me that they run it through Equifax. I wrote it down somewhere. No, TransUnion. So it's TransUnion and Dun & Bradstreet is where they're gonna report this for your business. So. I think that this is a great way for you to get in the game, okay? Uh, you have your paperless option for the statements. You don't really get any kind of benefit for that. So I wouldn't say you have to do it unless you just want less paper in your life. Uh, Balance Connect, which means if you you know go over something like that, they're gonna go ahead and take the money that you went overdraft in, on the credit card. They're gonna just take it from your bank account, okay? So you're gonna end up being protected either way. Uh, zero liability so they have uh, protection for unauthorized purchases and all that good stuff so if you look at it guys it really is a card that conducts itself just like a regular credit card out here in these streets so i can't really find anything negative about this card you guys i am with it so uh, if you found this video helpful and if you plan on saving your minimum of a thousand dollars to open this card let me know, you guys. And once again, support the channel. Did you know that we have a channel membership also? So $2.99 or $4.99, again, buy me coffee, all right? And I promise I'll stretch the coffee out. I won't just take it to buy a Starbucks. I will actually put it towards getting a big can of coffee and I will make my coffee here in my office, all right? So your money will not go to waste, all right? And I know you found this content helpful. So please subscribe, share this channel with anybody that you think can find it useful. Please share this with your business friends, especially the ones with bad credit, all right? I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will see you on the next one. Credit Solutionist out.